Hi, I'm Daniel from Chicken Caravan. Today I want to show you the electric chicken fence. This product's made in Germany and very good quality. It's a movable electric chicken fence. It keeps your chickens in and it keeps the dogs and foxes and dingoes out. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare the ground to set it up effectively, how to hook it up to an energizer and test the fence to make sure it's running enough current to keep the predators out and away from your chickens. Now we'll head out to the paddock and I'll show you how to set them up. Okay, the first step is to prepare the ground. Work out where you want to put your chicken fence and uh, if the grass is a little bit long, just mow a strip. So today I'm going to set up two fences and we're going to create a square that's 25 metres by 25 metres. So I've worked out where I want to put my fence, now I'll just mow where I'm going to put it down. Once you've got the, the fence, just take it out of the bag. When your fence is on the ground, just undo the strings. So once you've untied the strings, just pick it up and uh, let the net dangle down. Grab your first post, and then um, you can just drop that onto the ground. So we're gonna start with putting our first post in here. The posts uh, have two strong metal um, prongs on the bottom. So you just put that where you want to start and you can just simply push that in with your foot. Once you've got the first post in, you can just pick up all the posts and the roll and then just walk backwards, just uh, dropping off the next post in line. Once you've uh, stretched your fence out, all you do is walk back along and then pull it reasonably tight and then uh, tread all your posts in. Okay, we've now stood all the fences up, and this is where the fences join. Um, when the fence comes, it already comes with strings on it that hold the bundle together. These become handy now because they can tie your fences together. Just use whatever knot you are comfortable with just to tie them up. So the fences are now stood up, they're tied together, and at the ends of the fence you've got a central loom, so you just clip those two metal ends together, and then the, the electricity coming through one, it'll then keep sending it down the other lines. So sometimes at your corners you'll find that the ends pull in, this today is pretty good, but if your ground's a bit soft, you might find the fences are pulling in a bit. So you just get an extra bit of string and just tie it around, around the top, and then we can just get a star post and uh, pull that out. So I've hammered the star post in. Because the star post is metal, you want it a good distance away from your fence. You don't want it right up against the post because then you, the fence will short out on it and you won't have much electricity running through. So we can just tie that string back to the post and then make sure that the fence is standing upright and it's nice and tight. So now we've got the fence set up, I'll just show you some of the features of the fence. So we've got our steel spike in the ground there, and the, that bottom wire that you can see that's black, that's non-electrified, so that's right to sit on the grass, sit on the ground. Your next one up, that's your first live wire. So you wanna keep the grass off that. It's okay if a little bit hits it, but if you've got long grass, I'd recommend you mow it like we've done here, just so that one's not shorting out. 
and then you just go up and all the horizontal wires are live wires and your, your verticals are, are not live. So they're smaller squares down the bottom and then they get gradually uh, bigger as you go right to the top. When you do set up your fence, you just want to ensure none of these live wires are under your metal foot peg. Because if your live wires touching that metal foot peg, it'll be um, shorting out and you won't get much conductivity. The black one's all right to sit on the ground, the white one's not. With your fence comes with uh, a repair kit. So any of your horizontal or vertical wires, if they do break, there is spare wire in there and also clips to attach them. The spare top pegs for your post and also spare bottom clips for your bottom post. So that comes in your repair kit. Righto, so we've got the nets um, all rolled out. They're now standing up. We've got all the ends connected together. The next point is make the fences live. So I've got Mike here from Gallagher, Australia. He's had over 30 years experience in electric fencing and uh, he's going to show us how to successfully uh, hook electricity up to it. Thanks for being here today, Mike. My pleasure, Daniel. Righto, so um, at the corner here, we've got um, the electric fence uh, connected. So um, er everything of the loop is uh, now connected. I've got my corner post here, just pulling the fence out nice and tight. Um, I want to put the the Gallagher S50 on top of here. Can we? Can you just explain how that will work? Yep, for sure. Okay, but look, before we mount that up on top, yep. uh, ideally when people buy these units, uh, we advise them to fully charge the battery for uh, at least three days, take three days sitting in the sun to give that battery a full load of charge. Uh, that done, uh, the battery will last a long, long time. You're gonna get five or six years life out of the battery, but it's important to charge it properly the first time. When you connect the terminals onto the battery, uh, the leads onto the battery terminals, put a little dab of Vaseline there just to stop any corrosion that may happen with time, as, uh, as, as you know happens with, with battery connections, we yep. get a bit of corrosion build up there. So that'll uh, minimise any potential issues down the track as well. Okay, so assuming we've got the uh, the, the energizer charge, which we have with this one, yep. uh, this is an all-in-one unit, it's a solar panel, battery uh, contained in a compartment in the back here. Uh, an energizer in there as well. So it's a, an all-in-one unit ready to roll. Now we've driven this post in, the, in in a position where it will allow us to point the solar panel to the north. Uh, north is where we're going to get optimum sunlight here in Australia so we want to have it uh, pointing in that direction. It's simply got a little uh, uh, so socket in the back which allows us to uh, uh, to mount that onto our, our steel post. It just slides over the top of it and away we go. Uh, uh, make sure it's galvanised. Uh, galvanised stakes don't rust. Rust is an insulator. You won't get a circuit back through through old black steel posts and that type of thing. So make sure they're galvanised. We simply then have a, a, an earth connection that, that connects onto our earth stake and the live connection connects to our, our fence. Onto our, our, our live plate there. The fence is now hooked up. Okay, so we've got the unit all uh, hooked up, live and earth connected uh, appropriately. Uh, we now simply turn the energizer on. A uh, little light here indicating that uh, it's flashing away and working. Uh, we then test the fence, so earth probe into the ground, uh, life probe of our, our voltmeter uh, on, on the live side of the fence here, and we're getting six and a half thousand volts. Uh, so that's a good effective fence, that's going to keep all our chickens under control. It's also going to stop any uh, uh, predators, uh, dogs, cats, uh, foxes, that type of thing from, uh, from hassling the chickens. We recommend the Gallagher S50 for one chicken fence, the Gallagher B180 for one to three chicken fences, the Gallagher B280 for one to five chicken fences, and the Gallagher B700 for one to ten chicken fences. Okay, this is a, another fence monitoring device that we, we have available. Uh, it's called a, a live fence indicator. It actually stays on the fence full time. Uh, the idea being that uh, it's powered by the fence, it doesn't have a separate battery source. It hangs on the fence and flashes on and off with every pulse of the energizer, provided we have over 2,000 volts. So 2,000 volts we consider to be a pretty effective sort of a fence system. Uh, so at a glance, uh, you, you can uh, monitor what's happening on your fence system. They can be seen from up to a kilometre away over night time, uh, but it has a, a system of 
uh, red LED lights, so even daytime it's quite visible. Uh, this is very simple to install. It's simply got an earth probe and a, and a live connection here. We push our earth probe into the ground and the live connector just uh, allows us to clamp onto the fence. And that will flash on and off with each pulse of the unit when we turn the unit on. Okay, so a voltmeter is a fairly essential part of any fence system. It's important to be able to check your fence voltages uh, occasionally. I like to check my fence once a week if possible. Uh, and the ideal way to do it was, is with a, a digital voltmeter. Digital voltmeters read in kilovolts. Uh, so one kilovolt is a thousand volts. If the fence was reading 7.2, let's say, we've got 7,200 volts. Now, in an ideal world, I like to see fences working somewhere in excess of about 3,000 volts. Uh, that, that's pretty stock proof on most animals. Uh, if you are dealing with feral animals, uh, trying to keep foxes and that type of thing out possibly, uh, you may look to get a little bit more, probably uh, more like 5,000 volts to really get an effective result on those animals.